Hello, this is Nancy Taylor again from Anvil U3A. I'm absolutely delighted to be here on our week two audio presentation and lovely to be back and thank you for inviting me into your home. So what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to release a little bit more tension because we need a safe anchor in the storm with what's happening in that busy mind at the moment. And if we release some of that tension, in our practice, then, well, we've got a better chance of stopping that busy mind going over and over things. Difficult time at the moment, so thank you for being here. So let's start, if you can, by standing today. You don't have to, you can be on your dining chair. Hopefully you've got the things ready, the dining chair, making yourself comfortable, no interruptions, fantastic. If you can stand and it's safe to do so, stand and feel the feet today. Wriggle those toes, wriggle those toes. And let's just wriggle the shoulders. Just let's make sure the shoulders are okay because we do hold a lot of tension both in the shoulders and in the abdomen. So let's just wriggle them around. A little bit of mindful movement is always good. And if those of you who are practicing other mindful movement practices, please enjoy those as well. Keep them up. Good. So we've wriggled those shoulders. All we're going to do again with the feet firmly planted is breathe in through the nose. We did this last um, week. And out through the mouth. Good. Let's do two more. Breathing in through the nose. And make this the last. Make this the last. <sighs> Very good for settling and releasing that tension. And finally, just make fists. Tighten your fists. Tighten your face. Squeeze and release. Let's squeeze together the fists, the face together. Nobody's looking at you. And release. Good. So let's make our way down to our chair. Let's get comfortable by wriggling. It's comfortable by wriggling. Let's get the breath again. Let's get the breath. Let's get this anchor. Let's try and be here in the moment with the breath we've got, the body we've got, and that busy mind that we're trying to, as I said, find a little safe anchor for that mind in our practice. So we're going to use the breath again in week two. And of course we breathe in and out through the nose if we can. And we are this time trying to just settle it again, give it time, give it time. So how do we get that anchor? How do we pay attention? We pay our attention kindly. We pay attention with no critic at all. We pay attention as if we're the witness, seeing what's happening. The idea of being a witness, seeing what's happening. That observer. So the breath is always with us. Check those shoulders, they haven't gone up again. Good. Check the hands, they're not grasped on your lap. And check the feet can feel that earth. So when we're up in our head, the other way of anchoring is to anchor into the earth, into the floor, into that safe space by actually feeling it. Into your garden, if you can, feeling the soft grass, feeling the carpet, feeling the floor, wherever you are. Anchoring down, settling down as we did last week.
So with this lovely breath, just coming in and out, in and out. Slowly, we're not speeding up, we don't have to do anything. That's what the mind tries to tell us we have to do something, there's something to plan. Well, in this moment, with your body and your breath, you can tell the mind that you're going to be here for a couple of minutes of quiet breath work, just noticing it, enjoying it, gently be. And be still for just two more minutes. Two more minutes. There's nothing wrong in noticing that your mind's gone off. All we have to do is, first of all, give ourselves that permission not to follow it and gently bring it back to your breath. Good. So now we gently open the eyes, have a little bit of a wiggle with the feet. We notice what we notice. No criticism, no criticism at all. Please see if you will enjoy this uh, short a meditative practice perhaps once a day that would be my suggestion and remember there are a lot of other resources on the U3A national website to enjoy under the, the learning tab then subject advice thank you as I said for inviting me into your home it's been lovely to be here